Which one of these is Jesus? Uh oh. Which one? Come to it. Come, come tap it. So I can know. Which one of these is Jesus? What color he is? What color Jesus is? Say it on loud. Black. Say Jesus is black. Jesus is black. All praise to the most high. Jesus is black. And guess what? <laughs> guess what that means? That means his people are black too. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So how do you how can you uh, know for sure that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? How can I know for sure? How can you know for sure? Like somebody asks you on the street, what would you tell them? Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. And I got a good answer for you. These curses in the Bible is how we know for sure. Go to Deuteronomy 28:68. Go to Deuteronomy 28:68. Because this right here, how do we get over here uh, on this side of the earth? How do blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans get into uh, the land of the Americas? Slavery. slavery. Tell me a little bit about it. How do we get over here, though? We know it's slavery. How? On, on, uh, on ships. Across the water, right? And we were sold as slaves, right? All right, read that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt the first time? Doing Exodus. You saw that movie that came out in 2014, Exodus, Gods and Kings? Uh, you don't remember that? Crazy, you never heard about Moses uh, told Pharaoh to let my people go? Why he told him let his people go? Because they was in slavery. So what that tells you? We are not Egyptians. That has nothing to do with us. We not Kemet, brother. You know, you be hearing that, oh yeah, the African queens, Nefertiti and all that, that's not us. They had us in chains and whips just like the white man did. Right. Right? So that's what that's saying. It said you'll go back into slavery again. But how this time? By the way, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. It said you're gonna go into slavery again. I mean, you're going into slavery, but you ain't gonna see it no more again. You ain't gonna see Egypt no more again. You ain't going back to the actual place of Egypt where you was in slavery the first time. So this time about a spiritual Egypt. Read. And there ye should be sold unto your enemies. Look at that. Read. For bond men and bond women. They say you should be sold to your enemies. Who sold us in this land? The whites. The whites. So what that tell you? They are what? Our enemies. No friend of yours will sell you into slavery. That's right. right. No friend of yours will take all your money, mm. take your heritage, mm. have your daughters sold to other men, mm. raped, molested, beat, mutilated, right. free. For bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. No man shall save you. Who saved us from this? Who saved us from slavery? Nobody. Read. That's the answer. Read it again. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt uh -huh. again with ships. That's my part. It said we're going into slavery again with ships. How do we get over here? On slave ships, cargo slave ships. That's how you can prove to anybody you're an Israelite. Can name some other people who went through that? I'll wait. Absolute silence. That's what I thought. And that's how you can prove it every time. So anybody else that got something different to say, you can tell them to shut that mouth. Right. Right. But you gotta listen though, brother. You got a bigger responsibility. You got a bigger responsibility. You got a daughter right there. You gotta raise your daughter. But you gotta raise her righteously, keeping the commandments. Go to uh Deuteronomy 73 first. Go to Deuteronomy 73. That's a big responsibility in today's time. Because if you, if you notice, it ain't nothing but wickedness being promoted. When she turn on the TV, what she see? Angel, who your favorite rapper? Name me some songs. What's some songs you know? Little Dirt, Little Baby, Little Baby, Little Baby and Young Boy. What they rapping about? None, none good. None good. What about the girls? Name some girls rappers, Angel.
Oh, praise, praise God. Praise <laughs> God. Because these girls today, what they rapping about, the images they portraying, what they showing in the media, right. brother, right. your daughter gonna need a strong Israelite man to raise her upright That's in right. God's law, statute, commandment. Right. Look how she pointing at you. She said, my daddy gotta be strong and raise me right. Three. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse three. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, uh -huh. nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. What is, what is uh, verse six? Verse six. I oh, know six and seven. That's six and seven. Oh. Read that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse seven. Yeah. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Hey brother, hey, I want I you know. to stay for oh, a little no, no, bit. Go, you gotta hear this, brother. What that? I promise you, but you got to hear this. Read it from the top. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse seven. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. Unto thy children. Bro, you diligently got to teach your daughter the statute of commandments. Right. You got to teach your daughter that she got to dress modest, bro. Be honest with yourself right now. Is your daughter dressed modest? Bro, it's all kind of perverts out here in this world, bro. Uh. It's all kind of messed up people. And don't you know these little girls getting snatched up day by day? They put them in, uh, um, in sex slavery and stuff. Right. Especially these kids. But it's serious. Give me all Sarah 42 and 9. But this is a serious thing, man. You got a great responsibility, bro. That's why I'm, that's why I'm bringing this out to you. I ain't doing this for no reason. Read. You know? Book of Sarah, chapter 42 and verse 9. The father breaketh for the daughter uh -huh. when no man knoweth. Guess what? At all times of night, when you when y'all when sleeping, don't sometimes you just get up in the middle of the night and go check in the room just to make sure your daughter okay. Just to make sure she good. Just to make sure ain't nothing happen. Just to make sure she ain't having no bad dreams. Or she ain't seen no monster or nothing under the bed. You know how kids get. <laughs> a boogie man or something. You know how kids get. Read. And the care for her, take it away sleep. It says the care for your daughter, take it away sleep. You would rather lose, you would rather get no sleep to make sure your daughter okay. But that's how you got to be every day of your life. Because your daughter depends on it. You got to be that strong brother. Because if not, she gonna grow up with daddy issues and be just like these girls you see today. Right. Her dressing mother, sleep with her, all kind of men. Talk about they don't need no man, they independent. Got three, four kids. No daddy to take care of the kids. We got to stop that, bro. It got to stop somewhere. That starts with you. You keep the commandments. Shalom, sister, what's your name? Nika. She wouldn't know who she is in the Bible. You said Ika? Nika. 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 Uh -huh. So you want to know who you are in the Bible. Great. We're going to teach you who you are. You are an Israelite. You said what? Yeah, finish that up. When she is young, let she pass away the flower of her age. Uh -huh. And being married, let she should be hated. It says, guess what? It's your responsibility to make sure your daughter is raised up right when she's young and when she plants her flower, when she married. After she married, then you put that responsibility on her husband. Because you supposed to get, well, what they do at the uh, wedding? Who get a daughter away at the wedding? Well, who's supposed to get a daughter away? The father. Right. But a lot of our, uh, our women and our little girls, they ain't grew up with no father. Let's be honest. They don't know what a strong man look like. They don't know what it look like for a man to get up some discipline. That's why they grow up saying a man can't tell them nothing. They don't need no nigga. They independent. That's, That's why they got that mindset. That's why you hear so much stupid foolishness out in the world today on Instagram and on TikTok. Right. You got this um, red, pill, red pill stuff going on. This men versus women war. We don't need that. We need men to be in the household. Because guess what? It's better to raise strong children than to rebuild broken men. Right. And a lot of our people are broken. But you got the chance right now to build your daughter up. Sister, you got kids? I have a daughter. You got a daughter. You got the chance right now to learn your history, learn your heritage, learn who you are, and build your kids up. So your kids can have a better life than y'all had. Because we had, let's be real, a lot of us grew up rough. Especially in the 80s and 90s, where most of the parents was on drugs and stuff. All that stuff was going on. Give me Ciroc 7 and uh, 24. 
So I'm glad you are here too, sis. You need to hear this. Don't have y'all kids grow up like y'all grew up. Read that. Book is corrupt. Chapter 7 and verse 24. Has thou daughters have a care of their body? It says have your daughter have a care of their body. That's why I was teaching this brother right here. You got to have a care for his daughter's body. You got to have a care for your daughter's body. You got to watch what she put on. How old your daughter is? 14. And I see little girls be dressing like they 21 these days. Bring it up. These little girls, even women, should be wearing no tights. Shouldn't be attracting sexual attention. Don't you know it's over 75,000 black women missing? Black women and uh, little girls missing today? Where you think they at? Probably on somewhere on the other side of the world. Probably dead. We don't even know. Did you even know it's that many uh, sisters missing? You knew it. Why you think that is though? That's what you said. Exactly. A, a lot of our sisters be thinking, hey, you know what? It shouldn't matter what I put on. It shouldn't matter what I put on. But it does matter. Everybody ain't in their right, right state of mind. It's a lot of sick people out here do anything. Read that again. Book is Book is Rock, chapter 7, verse 24. Hast thou daughters have they care of their body, uh -huh. and show not thyself cheerful toward them. Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. You should be preaching marriage in your household to your daughter. Marry your daughter off. Make sure your daughter get married. Don't let her lose her virginity to some, some nigga around here. Then she end up pregnant or something. She shouldn't be having sex until she married. That's right. God's deal was marriage. Marriage is honorable and the bed not defiled. That's right. That's what he's what he said you got to have a care for your body too that go for you too sis you can't change the past but you can you can change your future you got control of your future and I'm glad you're here because you say you want to know your nationality what you all right so on the application they ask you your race what you put on there you put african-american right let's let, let's break down that that term african africa right who is Africa named after? You can start at 15. Who was Africa named after? You know? Africa was named after a white man from Rome. His name was Leo Scipios Africanus. Right. He beat Hannibal in the Second Punic War. Hannibal was the uh, king of the uh, Carthaginians. They got into a big, big war and he beat them. So he beat up on a black man and all his people. He said, you know what? I'm taking your land and it's mine's now. So a land full of black people named after a white man right. in America. Who America named after? Who America named after, you know? Amerigo Vespucci. I know you, all, you heard of Christopher Columbus, right? They say he, um, he sailed the ocean blue in uh, 1492 and supposed to been discovered America. But Columbus discovered um, so-called Haiti and um, the Dominican Republic today. America Vespucci discovered America. Right. So they named the land uh, uh, North and South America after Amerigo Vespucci. He's also a Roman, an Italian map maker. How you doing, sis? What's your name? Dora. Dora. Dora, if I ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Hispanic. Hispanic, right? Do you know what Hispanic actually means? Latino. Latino? 
You know that means you need that. You know that means property of Spain. Yeah, my last name is Alcaraz. It's actually Spaniard. It's the Spaniard, right? Yeah. So you know the Spanish had y'all in slavery, just like the English had us in slavery. The you knew Mayans, that? The Mayans. The Mayans, right? Were, oh yeah. You were enslaved in the Mayans. Uh huh. You were sacrificed. You sure was. Now go to Deuteronomy twenty-eight fifteen. I got a question for you. Do y'all think y'all different races? No, we're all we all bleed red, so we're all one. We all one. You talking about everybody in the world? Right, right. We bleed red. We're all one. God made us all one. We're, we all bleed red, yeah. so we're all one. Go to second edges real quick. That's Give my me that. sister. That's your sister. Okay, we're gonna break it down. Now y'all two are the same people. Right. But everybody in the world are not of the same people. Right. Think about it. In the Bible, it got eighteen different nations Bring of it people. Out. Which one you belong to? My sister said she was African American. My sister right here said she was Hispanic. But come look at this. Come look at this up here. Cause you said you Hispanic, right? You from what? Mexico. You Mexican. Aztec Indian. Aztec Indian, right? So think about this. Where you come from? What tribe you come from up here? Mexican Aztec. Exactly. So you from the tribe of Issachar. You said American black, right? You from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Those are Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. The uh, Aztecs. What they wore at the end of their clothing. What they had down here. Bring it out. What is this? Uh, fringes. Yeah, fringes. They had fringes and a ribbon of blue on their clothing already. Because they were Israelites. That's right. Read what you got. Book of Second Edges, chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away. Prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king whom Solomon the king of Assyria led away captive. So what we're going over right now is those uh, ten tribes of the northern kingdom. So that's um, that's included with um, Issachar, right? Issachar, Ephraim, Manasseh, Asher, all those. Uh, uh, most of them people today are of uh, South American descent, right? It's showing how they came on this side of the world. Read. And so, and so came they into another land, but they took this counsel among themselves uh -huh. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen uh -huh. and go forth into a further country. Uh, it said that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So that's putting the difference in people right there. So they talk about Israel leaving the multitude of the heathen. Read on. Where never mankind dwelt. Alright, so at one point in time, you know in America, wasn't well, nobody over here. Right. There was undiscovered land. They didn't even know that America existed. You know, at one point they thought the earth was flat. That was so-called Christopher uh, Columbus supposed to be uh, sailed the ocean for to prove that it was a, uh, it was some more land on the other side of the world and that the world was uh, round, right? Mm. So this land that mankind never dwelt free. Yeah. That they might that they might there keep their statues, uh -huh. which they never kept in their own land. So they went over there because they said we're gonna keep God's laws over here. If you know anything about Aztec um, history and culture, the Mayans, the uh, Incas, and all those, those people, they found a lot of artifacts of um, Hebrew writing. Right. Where did Hebrew writing come from? Why do they still uh, doing traditions of Egypt? They still got pyramids over there. They still got places um, uh, from the um, Incas that's never been found. Right. The uh, the uh, what is, what is the lost city of gold? They still haven't found it out there in the Amazon. And guess what? They never gonna find it. Hold on, sis, don't leave. Don't leave, because you ain't lying your nationality yet. I'm gonna get my baby. You ain't lying your nationality yet. Go to Deuteronomy on uh, chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah, read it real fast. Yeah, read that real fast, because this is how you know that you're Israelites, both of y'all, because we all went through this. Read. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. This Egypt is talking about slavery. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. That's why Moses went to Pharaoh and told him, let my people go. Read. Jewish, they're Jews. By the way, where I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be thrown unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Because we went on slavery on ships. Slave ships on this side of the world. And she said, yeah, they were Jews. But who were the Jews, though? What color are the Jews? Black. Black. That's right. Dark-skinned dark people. Dark -skin, you a Jew, sis. You a Jew. We are the real Jews. 
Go to um, Revelation 2 and 9 real quick. Read that. Book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. This is how we can prove it. I know thy works in tribulation, uh -huh. in poverty, yes. but thou art rich. It said he know your works in tribulation and poverty. Who the most poverty are stricken people in America and over the world? Hispanics and blacks and Native Indians. Right. Because we all the same people. We the only ones that go through that. We the only ones that get um, discriminated against the most. We get shot down and don't nobody care. Huh? We die all the time. It don't make the headline news. Read. And another blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. They say they know the blasphemy of those people who say they are Jews, but they are not. As you know, it's a big war going on right now in Israel between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Listen, they call themselves Israelis. They don't even say they Israelites because the land don't belong to neither one of them. It's our land. And how we going to get that back is keeping God's commandment. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Oh, you know.